Now, periodically throughout the offseason, I'm going to be revisiting plays that happened during the 2021 season uh, just for different reasons. I kind of am rewatching games and some plays are standing out to me. So this is one I want to look at and uh, we'll, we'll talk about from the wider view here. But it's Tunyon. This is week two against the Lions. And here we go. He's going to he's matched up, looks like, against Anzalone. And actually, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that for a second. So there he is there and he's going to be running... It's kind of a little, you can't see it because the post there. Uh, Anzalone's an inside shade there. Uh, so this, it's, it, which means he's got, based on the route, Anzalone's got pretty good uh, coverage there. Just rips it, rips it right overhead. All right. Amazing throw. Just tremendous throw. The question I get, because I posted this the other day, is, well, why didn't he throw to Alan Lazard? And then, and then you start thinking about the NFC Championship game and last play there and all of that. So why didn't he go to Alan Lazard? It's a common question I get. Uh, when when you see a play like this, or when you see this not a play like this, this specific play, so I kind of want to talk about that. All right, what are we looking at? The Lions are showing two split, and they're basically in. I'm bad with my defensive terminology, but my understanding on this is this is cover five. So what that means is too high, so uh, too high shell, man to man across the board. So everyone's manned up, and then uh, say Aaron Jones is back there, which means Jamie Collins, and he kind of sneaks in there but he's going to pick up Aaron Jones. So this is cover five, split safeties. And then so what are the Packers doing? It is third and six. Packers have you know, stop routes on the outside right around six. He's going to kind of check and release. He's got, now this looks to me like a middle read, kind of the middle read thing, which is basically, this is a, this is his option. So if there's a, if they spin to single high, this becomes a dig, kind of an inbreaker. And if they stay in too high, he keeps this little route here, the skinny post, whatever you want to call it, splits the safeties. And here's those art underneath, kind of cut underneath there. So what Roger's going to do, we're going to look at this. What Roger's going to do when he checks is he's going to say, all right, what are these guys doing? Confirm they are splitting. And then he's going to check the coverage. So as he's dropping back, he's saying, okay, are these guys splitting? If they're splitting, I know I've got Tunyon. He's going to run here. Then you check the coverage. Is the coverage man, which looks like here. And if it is man, that's that's Tunyon matched up against Anzalone. So that's a linebacker. It's your tight end on a linebacker. So we'll see him. He's going to kind of drop back here. Boom, boom, boom. As he's dropping back, his back foot's hitting. Everything's been confirmed. He's looked down the middle. He sees these guys here split wide. Those guys are split so wide. The middle of the field is wide open. That tells Rodgers, all right, that means I've got Tunyon is going to be running, going to be splitting up the middle. He's splitting this. There's plenty of room there. Then he looks, as he's looking, he looks here as well. Okay, I've got man-to-man, I -man, linebacker, and the linebacker's head is turned. It's bad drawing, but you get the gist. His head's turned. Rogers said this before. Other quarterbacks have done this. The linebacker's head is turned. It's considered open. If the, the not linebacker, if the defender's head is turned, that's open. I'm going to throw that because he's not getting his head around. It's man coverage. He's going to keep his head turned. I'm throwing that. I'm considering that open. So that's top of his drop. He's not looking anywhere else. Now, if something was different, if these guys, you know, maybe spun differently or whatever, then maybe this changes. You can see Lazard cutting underneath. That's probably the second read here, or he's going outside if he likes one of those matchups. So it's, it's like he's looking tunning on the drop back. Confirm that. If he doesn't like this matchup, he bounces and goes somewhere else. My guess is since it's the same plane of vision, he's going to Lazard. So he goes, look there. I don't like that. Then he bounces on Lazard. But this is his first read. First read is then it confirms. Split, split, man-to-man -man linebacker, head turn. There's no reason to look anywhere else. Rogers throws it. So just a reminder, and, and we'll, throw, we'll just throw this one more time from the other angle here. Just a reminder from... Just as we look at this, you see screenshots, you look at these plays, you say, well, why didn't he throw? That guy was wide open. Why is this the option he went to? And that's valid. I mean, that it's something certainly to be looked at. It's something to be considered. And uh, we'll watch that in slow motion, and then I'll kind of just run it back, and we'll stop it at the point there where there's his art. Okay, so it's valid to, to wonder that. You know, obviously, there's sometimes, you know, quarterbacks will misread, but it's also helpful to remember quarterback does not see the entire field all the time. Now, all options are on the table in a given minute. There's a read, there's a progression. Now, it's not, you don't always have a, a read progression in terms of when the ball is snapped, I go here, 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 here. It's not defined every single play. You're looking at pre-snap. You're looking at, okay, again, if the picture changes. So you're looking at, okay, pre-snap, he looks too high, turning on a linebacker. This is what I like. Now, if the picture changes post-snap, 
then he goes somewhere else. But the read is set at that point. You got the pre snap read. So it's going to be Tunyon and then, you know, potentially Lazar, depending on the coverage drops or anything like that. If they go single high and he sees that pre snap, then maybe you're looking at something on the outside first. Maybe you're looking at one of those stop routes because you've got a man to man matchup there. So this progression on this play is not always Tunyon one, Lazar two, and then somewhere else because you don't have time to run the stop routes after that. The, the the reads, the progression can change depending on what that pre-snap look is. So just something helpful to keep in mind when we see something like this. Why didn't you throw here? Sometimes there's not a good reason. Uh, as I talked about in that last play of the last offensive play of the 2021 season where why didn't you throw this hard? I don't know. Probably should have. But sometimes you look at this and go, okay, why didn't you throw? This is exactly why he didn't throw there because the progression did not take him there. Uh, the first read was open, so he just throws out and done.